call the North Planning Planning Commission meeting for March the 3rd order at 6 o'clock. Who would rise for the meeting? Did the flag come down? of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Chair King? Here. Vice Chair Levante? Here. Commissioner House? Here. Commissioner Penodell? Here. Commissioner Miller? Here. Commissioner Parra? Here. Commissioner Van Domlin? Here. And your ex officio tonight is Councilor Ricky Smith. Here. <laughs> I'd like to officially welcome our new commissioner, Mr. Parra. Welcome Thank aboard. you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, item number four is public comments. This time is available for anyone in the audience or Zoom. Is there anyone on Zoom? No one on Zoom. No one on Zoom. So, uh, frankly, there's nobody to say. <laughs> We'll move on to uh, item number five is the approval of the minutes for February the 14th. A second. Been moved by Commissioner Connell, second by Commissioner Miller for approval of the February 14th uh, minutes as presented. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. Uh, those opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, item number six, unfinished business. Yes, uh, thank you, Chair King. Um, really, the only unfinished business we have right now is the Planning Commission Handbook. And um, I know I shared it with you guys at the last meeting, but I'm just curious if um, anybody has any edits they would like to bring forward uh, for volume one at this time. And um, if you do, just go ahead and email me that. Um, or um, if you would like, I can send you a Word version and you can put them in red line comments if, if you'd like. So just let me know. Um, I'd love to get the handbook um, wrapped up um, prior to the next meeting. So we can distribute it all. Um, I've spoken with the city manager and he agrees that it would be a great idea to print up all these materials for, for everybody. Um, so I think we'll print up, you know, about 20 or so of the handbooks and uh, 20 or so of those other documents and we'll put them in a binder. So you all will get a copy of that. Um, and so, yeah, I'd just like to try and wrap that up. Uh, so reach out to me if you have questions on it or if you'd like to get a word version um, I'll, I'll send you whatever you want and uh, look forward to getting any edits that, that you may have. Um, but if you can get those to me, um, you know, by the end of this month, that would be helpful so we can start getting them printed uh, sooner than later. And that's uh, all I have for you right now. Just to follow up to that, um, you did provide us a word copy um, within one of our... I thought I did, yeah. Nothing has changed since, Nothing has changed since, since then. I mean, I, I have gone in and I took your comment about the date for the TSP and I updated the date to be 2019, but that's that's all I've done at this time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, okay, we'll move on to item seven, which is new business. Uh, this is the uh, file number 24-013 extension for next week for next St. Homer Catholic Church. Yes, thank you, Chair King. Um, we're going to have um, our rare volunteer, Rowan, uh, present this file to you tonight. So I'm going to shift over to Rowan's chair, and Rowan will come over here and uh, present the file for you tonight. Are we uh, making a, a motion and approving and all that? Uh, it would just be a motion to approve or deny. I'm just questioning if I could step down and let the uh, vice president, uh, or yeah. Chair Levant, uh, take over. I think given your affiliation, that, that might be reasonable, that there could be a conflict or perceived conflict there. Okay. Um, but I'll leave that you know decision making to you. I'll let, uh, have the record show that uh, Commissioner Levante is taking the chair position. We'll go ahead and take staff comments. So yeah, Rowan, Rowan has a presentation. And, yep, uh, just we're just to, trying uh, to get so this. Happy. There we go. Okay, good evening, commissioners. 
Um, as mentioned, this is an extension application 24-013, extension of design review approval for St. Edward Parish Hall expansion. Uh, this was brought in, uh, applied for in 2020 and brought before the Planning Commission in February of 2021. Uh, this is an expansion of the original uh, parish hall, which move this here, uh, was 4,250 square feet. The expansion is a total of 6,902 square feet. Uh, the expansion goes on to an existing parking area, uh, modifying the arrangement of the parking on this site. A bit of history on this uh, application. The, uh, as mentioned, the original file is uh, Design Review 20-043, uh, which was approved in February of 2021. Uh, an extension was filed in 2022 for a, another year extension. Um, following that in 2023, another extension was applied for and approved, uh, which brings us here to 2024 with uh, this extension request. Um, if granted, it would be a one-year extension uh, to February 18th of 2025. Any questions? Has there been any significant changes in the design since the prior extension? There's been no changes to the design. Okay. Have one just because it's just an extension approval. Um, for, from staff standpoint, what has to occur on the project site before they would have to come back for potentially another approval for extension? Is it just getting the um, uh, infrastructure, but you know, meeting the city city requirements for curb sidewalk? Is that what starts it, or does the actual construction? Yeah, well, I'm sure you might be familiar with in our duration of approval language that we have in our code. It talks about um, have making substantial construction. Uh, so you know they would have to essentially kick this. They have to get a building permit and start a foundation, something along the lines of getting this addition started, and then we would make the um, determination that they have executed the decision and, and kicked off the um, approval. Um, so. They did call us last year looking for um, uh, information on SBC fees and uh, some middle process for a building permit and things of that nature. So I, I really thought it was going to start moving forward, but it looks like there's still some um, hurdles the church is uh, working to overcome to be able to get this picked off. Just for the record, I just want to, I know I said it when we initially heard this uh, plan, but I'm a member of portioner of St. Edward's, so please. I'm not. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Is there any staff or questions for staff? Nothing? For a recommendation to approve or deny an extension. That approval, right? There we go. File number two four zero. Okay. It's been moved by Commissioner Cornell and seconded by Commissioner Hahn, I believe. I or one of two. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Those passes. All right. Uh, let's show that uh, the three bits in the chair. Uh, we're moving on to item number eight, which is our land use application and uh, the city project uh, monthly report. <coughs> yeah, thank you, Chair King. Um, we have been receiving a steady um, flow of applications, which has been really nice, uh, as you can probably see from the uh, information that's been provided. Um, we've received a, a, a wide range of land use. Oh, you did not get that. I, I thought that was in there. Um, but uh, we've received um, everything from um, 
uh, a planning director's interpretation request to variances, uh, minor variances to um, a partition um, design review. So it's been um, really nice to get that rank range of applications uh, coming in, especially when we have a, a rare volunteer, uh, so they can get exposure to the land use process. Um, to that end, we will be bringing the design review application for Frank's excavation uh, before you next month, and Rowan will be uh, managing that application. So uh, it will be Rowan's first opportunity to present a real application to you. This this extension was kind of, you know, getting the feet wet type of thing, you know, and now we're going to move into the big one here next. So excited for that. Um, we still get a steady flow of uh, building permits coming in. Uh, we've been working with the county to try and streamline that process a little bit. And I think we're making a little bit of headway there where uh, myself and the city manager and probably the um, public works director may get access into their system and be able to provide notes because there's been a little bit of a, um, a gap in um, people getting permits before we've had a chance to review them. And so um, we kind of talked about this a little bit the last time where signs have gone up before we've issued the permit, but they've got the electrical permit from the county before they submitted for the land use application with the city. You know, so there's some chicken and egg stuff we need to work out with the county and make sure that these things aren't uh, slipping through the cracks and things are happening before they get their approvals. So we've had a very good conversation with the county on that. Um, and that's that's really about it for, for now. Unless you have any questions on on any any applications, anything that's happening in the city, you have probably seen we're getting started with our sidewalk improvement project. So uh, a lot of work going on there. Um, sisters and stuff is getting ready, uh, getting their parking lot fixed up so they can open here soon. So a lot of a lot of exciting things happening right now. Uh, could you make sure you send out that list of commissioners that it's not in our packet? List of commissioners. Okay. I'm not sure I understood the question. We didn't get the list. We didn't get the list. The, you know, the our spreadsheet, they didn't oh. get that. Okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. if you would like, we can send it out to you tomorrow um, if you'd like to look at it. Um, and then we'll make sure it's in the packet for, for next month. Thank you. Any uh, questions, comments on either of the um, land use applications, uh, the city? Project update report or the planning commission business calendar. I just noticed on the calendar code text amendments. Are we looking at code again? I'm sorry, Chair King. You have on the calendar. You have code text amendments. Yes. Thank you for that question. Um, we are preparing to bring the, um, so let me back up a little bit. We did have our work session with the city council on the uh, proposed tax amendments. Uh, they, they liked your work. They thought it was um, something that needed to be done. Um, and so they, they said, let's get this started. Let's go ahead and kick off a text amendment application for the sign code. So we have done that. Um, we've started to send out all of our notices to everybody in town here. Those will be going out on Friday. Um, so I, you should be getting a notice. Uh, let me know if you don't get one. So um, I don't know if that's something went wrong with the mailing list, but we work really closely with the county on that, with their GAS team and whatnot. And so I think we have a pretty comprehensive list. Um, and then uh, on April 10th, we'll have our first hearing uh, with the Planning Commission, um, hoping that we'll have a nice audience to share their thoughts. And we'll also, prior to that, be doing a neighborhood meeting. We're gonna do that virtually. Uh, that'll be on the, um, when is that? That is, I think it's set up for the 26th or 7th right now at 3 p.m. Uh, on a Zoom um, setup. So uh, join in if you would like. And then we'll be coming before you on the 10th uh, for the first hearing on the sign code. I'm anticipating that there will be participation in this, uh, which is why I continued it to your second meeting um, in May. And it could go further, you know, it just depends on how many people show up and what their comments are and how fast we can work through the issues to um, get something ready to bring forward as a recommendation to the city council. So that, that was a follow up question was you've got it on the three time case that is continued. <laughs> yes, I, I'm anticipating it being continued at this point. So um, it's a, time. yeah, it's a big topic. I, I think it's hard to determine if it's continued or not, correct? Yes. Yep. 
virtual hearings for, uh, excuse me, virtual neighborhood meetings for code? I'm sorry, what's that? Is that new having the neighborhood or meetings for neighborhood virtual meetings for, uh, for, for the neighborhood meetings? That's a community meeting, really, because it's the entire city, right? Well, it's, um, it can be done either way. We allow virtual meetings or in person meetings. Um, Have we ever had those before? That new, that's what I'm asking about. Not new, not new since my time here, and I know that before my time, um, uh, pardon? For code changes? It's re since it's a type four process, it does require a neighborhood meeting. So that's why we're gonna hold the neighborhood meeting. But then when they come here, that's like an extension of a neighborhood meeting, right? When they come to the planning commission, we're just continuing that neighborhood meeting over to here. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I can show you that there was a neighborhood meeting for the, um, for the psilocybin and marijuana tax amendments. And there was a neighborhood meeting for the short-term rentals. Um, and those updates, uh, there was at least that information was in the files mm -hmm. for those applications. It's not announced to us, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, those are those are kind of the things that I have upcoming to get everything ready for for you folks. Um, but yeah, I, it's kind of funny that you know the city is obviously the applicant here and we're having a neighborhood meeting. But I've always viewed like the first planning commission meeting as being a neighborhood meeting, right? <laughs> we're going to be probably doing the same thing. Yep. So um, we'll see who shows up. You know, when we did the neighborhood meeting for the. Um, for the um, new public works building, uh, only one person showed up to that one, um, but I think this is going to get a lot more people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm anticipating a lot more. I'm anticipating a lot more. Uh, item number nine is planning commission comments, uh, follow up with the view of the sidewalk construction. Does the city, obviously, since we don't see anything as far as the planning commission, uh, the, the public works field, uh, is, are they work directly with the residents that are affected by this? I mean, I, since we don't see any action, um, it, it, again, it's a little bit out of my department, um, but I know that there has been outreach. I know that folks have contacted both the public works director and the city manager on various issues. Um, for example, there are some homes along commercial that are within about five to 10 feet of the right of way. Um, and so some of these sidewalks have really made them realize how short their property really is. Um, and so we are working with them to try and meander the sidewalk a little bit further away from their home. Um, but as you can imagine, it is compromised a little bit by the uh, stormwater ditch. Uh, piping that ditch is expensive. Um, and so there's only so much we can do. Um, but uh, I think most people um, are uh, appreciative of the project. And I think the city's doing a good job to accommodate what we can, where we can. Uh, concern is, though, is, is the city proactive or reactive? Are they um, reaching out and talking to them before they come and start tearing up their front the, right away in front of them? Or are they talked to them ahead of time and said, this is what's going to happen? I know before I got here, there was outreach. Um, we talked about doing outreach before the uh, whole thing got kicked off. I'm not sure if that happened. Um, again, outside of my my department, um, this would have to be you know something for Public Works and the city manager to comment on. I'm, I've not been part of all those conversations. Um, I just started getting phone calls though when I first came on board here. Uh, people already knew about it and were asking about driveways and different things. And so we did have a, a little sit down uh, talking about doing a notice. I, but by then the public works director came on board and, and I kind of took a step back. Um, any other uh, planning commission comments? Um. In regards to naming streets in the city, will those come before the planning commission since we name all the we approve all the street names for development? I'm sorry, what what was that? Street naming. Street naming. What what streets are you thinking about? I mean, I've not had anybody come to me for a new street name yet. Um, I mean, all the streets that are in Vrinho. Would it come to the planning commission? 
since we're since we're the body that approves street names? I would have to look into that. I mean, if the street names are associated with the land use application, they would come before you. If somebody wanted to just rename a street or um, there was a a new street, I mean, usually the new streets come through, you know, a subdivision or a partition or something of that nature. And, and we don't have that right now. Um, the private street that's part of Homestead, I suppose they could name that if they wanted to. But all those, all those streets, all those lots, if they take access from that private drive, will have their addresses to Pacific Street. So there won't be a new street there. And then um, 322nd was already designated, which was the continuation, which was the new street that came in between Pacific and Cottage Street. Um, all the other new streets that we have coming in at the moment are in Bryn Hill, which have already been named and, and are being continued. Um, so um, as far as any new streets, we don't have any. I would have to look into that question though for you to, to find out if somebody wanted to name a street now, if that would come before you. Um, but again, all the other ones would be part of a land use application, which would come before you. Any other planning commission comments? Um, just one, I'd like to recognize uh, uh, Planning Manager Miller for the work done with the um, auto repair facility over off of Cottage. Things are much, much better now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We are, we, there's still a work in progress. We're going to be meeting with them on Friday to try to make a little bit more progress. And um, I really appreciate that. I, I can't take all the credit for that, though. Our, our new police chief, um, Nick Jones, has been very helpful in getting this done. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it without him. Um, it's just when you when you show up with a guy with a badge, yeah. <laughs> things get done. That's on my my recognition of him as well. Yeah, absolutely will. And and we also are working, just so you know, with the um, auto repair business at Commercial and um, Maine to get those automobiles moved out of the right-of-way that have been there probably for several years now. Um, so those are also uh, going to be moved. Great. That's all I have. Okay. Is there anyone else? Hearing none, uh, I have number 10. City Council comments. Yeah, for sure. You told me I can't talk. <laughs> give him the mic. <laughs> if you have the mic or the hook, which one do we give him? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on. Anyway, I'll yell. Yeah, you can talk about me. I like to thank the Planning Commission, so, so does the Mayor and the City Council on all the work the Planning Commission does do. Uh, sometimes you think it's, it's not appreciated, but it really is, uh, especially the signs and all the work that's gone on that. But the big one is UGBs and the kind of grief and guff we've been received from that and the bullets we've been taking. Um, getting in the newspapers and TV and all that, we were like a test study for this other group. So I'd like to thank everybody that's held their guns on this one. Um, the number one thing I'd like to bring up is on Monday, March 18th, is the State of the City. I know uh, Chair King usually shows up at every one of them, but I, I'd like to see more of the Planning Commission there, especially for this one, when all the stuff has happened. I think it's very important to be there. Not only to support us, but support your chair, who's sometimes standing in there by himself. But I like to highly recommend that people do show up for this one, just because of what's happened in the last couple of months. And I'd like to second those comments too. And I think that's important for the planning commission to be able to not succeed. Anything else? I just get myself in trouble if I do say anything. <laughs> I'm like buying. <laughs> she cuts me off. Any of the planning commissioners have anything for the city council? Thank you, sir. Good, good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, item number 10 is, uh, or excuse me, item number 11, staff comments. Uh, Mr. Miller. Um, well, I appreciate the comments from Councillor Smith about the state of the city. I think that is an important one for all of us to attend. And I appreciate you acknowledging what happened at the uh, Senate with 4026, because that is also significant. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that um, 
you know, the, the message gets out that there's a lot of reasons why some of these things took the course of actions that they, they did. And um, that, that'll be really helpful for the community to get that information accurately. So um, if you have people that are interested in discussing this, please encourage them to come into the city. We will be an open book and, and share everything with them that they have questions on. Um, before everybody got here tonight, um, I shared with a few of the uh, planning commissioners that there will be starting some road work on Highway 26 here soon um, between um, Brookswood and, uh, and um, Glencoe here. So the highway will be shut down from time to time. I believe that's starting in the end of March, isn't it, Flory? Yeah, depending yeah. on the weather. Yeah, depending on the weather, they're going to try and kick it off here on the end of March. Um, it's a fairly lengthy uh, closure, so um, you could see increased traffic coming through different areas than you're used to. So that's just a heads up. Uh, appreciate the acknowledgement on the sidewalk project. I think that's uh, something that's really going to be wonderful for the city. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, getting people off the site, off the streets and on the sidewalks. It's just really important, and especially along Commercial Street and some of our main thoroughfares. So that'll be fantastic. Um, the last one I'll bring to your attention is, um, is since it's going to be a sunny weekend and people will probably be out doing things, there will be an ice cream stand set up at the um, food trucks here at Glencoe and Commercial Street over the weekend. So if you, you're feeling a little warm or you need a little something sweet, uh, you might want to stop by and, and uh, get some ice cream. And the final food truck is also going to be moving in there soon, and it's going to be a fish and chips uh, food truck. So... Um, if you haven't been down there yet, I would encourage you to go. Uh, it's a nice little setup, and uh, the trucks that are there right now have some some wonderful food. That's that's all I have. Thanks, sir. Any comments on the staff comments? Hey, if there's no other commission business, uh, just a notation that the next meeting will be held at six o'clock and not seven o'clock. <laughs> the template is now changed. Once it's set, yeah, we'll... it's set. So and it will be on April the tenth. So if there's no other business, we'll adjourn at six twenty-seven.